Hello everyone and welcome back to another example of dynamics. Here we have a situation which is a kinetics of rigid bodies. In this problem we have a refrigerator whose uh, width is two and a half feet and has a height of six feet and weighs 80 pounds. The center of mass is one, one and a quarter feet from either side and two feet up from the base. If the refrigerator is on a conveyor belt that is accelerating the refrigerator at a rate of one foot per second squared, what are the normal forces at each of the feet? Observe that I already drew a free body diagram, a schematic representation of laws of motion. On free body diagram, I'm showing the external loads, weight of the fridge, mg, acting at point C, normal force N1 at the left foot, normal force N2 at the right foot, and two frictional forces F1 and F2 at those feet. And on the right diagram, the mass acceleration diagram, I'm showing the only acceleration due to linear motion vector MA, which is two feet above the base of the system from the conveyor belt. Uh, observe that in the PDF solution, three equations of motions are used. Um, net force in x direction, net force in y direction, and net moment about mass center C. Here I want to show you a slightly different approach. Since I'm interested in determination of forces in 1 and in 2, I would benefit if I choose an equation in such a way that has the least number of unknowns. So if I take moment of all forces on both diagrams about point A, observe that forces N1, F1, and F2 are eliminated from this equation, and only N1 has a moment about point A. So this gives me an equation with one unknown which I prefer to uh, another option where I have more unknowns in an equation. So let's start by writing the moment equation, sum of all moments uh, about point A on the free body diagram that has to be equal to net moment of all vectors about the same point on mass acceleration diagram MAD. So on the left free body diagram, N2 has a moment about A, which is a distance of 2.5 N2. Weight has a moment whose arm is 1 and a quarter. Observe that rotation of weight Mg about point A is clockwise, so its moment is going to be minus 1.25 Mg. Uh, or weight which is in this case 80 pounds uh, so that's all I have these are the only two forces that have a moment about point A on free body diagram and this has to be equal to total moment of all vectors about the same point on mass acceleration diagram observe that the only vector I have on mass acceleration diagram is MA whose moment arm uh, with respect to point A is 2 feet Rotation is uh, clockwise, so I write minus 2 feet times mass, which is 80 pounds, divided by 32.2 times acceleration of 1 foot per second squared. Observe that this equation has only one unknown. And so I can take a calculator, do the numerical calculations, and solve for N2. If I have N2, then I can sum forces in Y direction, and I have only one unknown in that equation, namely N1. So that's how I can find N1. In other words, with this approach, I can only write two equations to find both desired unknowns. Alternatively, you can write three equations of motion, and take that approach by involving the frictional forces. Uh, so that's what you see in the PDF solution. Let's proceed to find um, N2. So we have 2.5 N2 equal to 
100 minus 4.97 and then solving for N2 we get a numerical value of 38.01 newtons then if I continue with the y equation net force in y direction equals to m a y but there is no vertical motion then this gives me n1 plus n2 38.01 minus 80 equal to 0 solving this equation for n1 we get 41.99 newton so these are the reactions at the feet of the fridge thanks for watching